I think we want to be able to capture your purpose of this film. But before we do that, I am curious, what got you into wanting to do these types of films? Well, I mean, you know, one of the great themes of the movie American underdog is, is believing that all things are possible and finding your gift and calling in life and, and living in it. And, for, for, for me, uh, you know, my brother and I are from, you know, born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama, which is as far from Hollywood as you can get, but God had a plan, you know, for us and a, and a purpose for, for our lives. And that happened when I was 15 years old, um, uh, a, a crew member, a cameraman got sick at a university of Alabama football game. And, uh, mm-hmm. I was about 45 minutes away from the stadium. I had interned with a cameraman from my, from my church, uh, hadn't really done much, but he said, John, get over here right now. You know, <laughs> three hours before the game. Don't tell anybody you've never done this before. Uh, just, just, I'm not recommending just it. Act the part, act the part, yeah. right? But basically just sort of, you know, uh, 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 just don't inform them of any of the details of your life. And so I, I, I went over there and uh, I had a blast. I mean, I had so much fun. I mean, it was very, I was very uh, privileged to meet to meet my calling in life very early. And I just loved it and, uh, mm-hmm. and never really looked back. It's like a kid that joined the circus. You know, I remember this conservative homeschooled Baptist kid, you know, working this game for ESPN and the zoom was powerful enough that it would, the, the, the lens that you could zoom into a quarter of the moon. So I was just zooming wow. in and out of the moon. Like this is the coolest <laughs> thing I've ever done. And, uh, and I, I, uh, I had a blast. And so my brother and I worked for ESPN for many years and, okay. um, and then during that time, uh, my dad bought us a, uh, you know, a camera and helped us get a loan for some editing equipment and just said, dream bold, dream big, dream the impossible. And uh, we've been trying to live up to that ever since and just uh, make, made all kinds of stuff. Started doing music videos for a long time in Nashville. And then I, then I directed second unit, which was some action sequences on a faith-based film. Mm-hmm. And the director of that movie, Alex Kendrick, said, John, what's your purpose and the purpose of your work? And couldn't stop thinking about the question, couldn't stop asking myself the question. And that was sort of a moment where my career became a calling in life, which is to, uh-huh. is to get the hope of the gospel back into Hollywood, you know, and, uh, mm-hmm. and, and back into the entertainment industry. Great. Now, just a little side note, is Andrew a twin or just a sibling? You know, it's funny. Andy is actually three and a half years older. Uh, okay. I, I'm like a kid brother with all these dreams and ambitions. And uh, we say without him, we'd never finish anything. Without me, we'd never start anything. And uh, <laughs> he, he's been very gracious to go along with his kid brother's crazy notion and ideas. But, uh, but yeah, we've, we've worked together longer than we haven't put it that way and uh right. and uh yeah he's he's great good talents great to work with your brother and and uh and and it's been it's been fun uh it's, I guess 25 years now we've worked together wow 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 well you know um just getting a glimpse from the trailer of this film um, american underdog i just think of uh kind of these marvel movies you know you have this this evil and this alias and then you have this superhero that comes in and sweeps up and so you kind of get the same feel in this in this movie that you have these and so tell us more expand on that a little bit for us he is an everyman hero kurt warner is and it's so cool it's you know the film is being released Christmas day, you know, all over America, which is unbelievable. And typically with the Christmas day release, you know, it is, it's a, it, you, it's a Marvel superhero or a star Wars movie. And yeah. the idea that a, a, a true story, inspirational story of this American underdog uh, who was driven by his faith to accomplish the impossible. And that's, what's being released by Lionsgate on Christmas day. is just, it blows me away. And, and it, what I love it is that you get all those feelings of a hero movie uh, but it's a hero that you can see yourself in and relate to yes. and identify with. And, yes. and the whole idea and goal of the film has been, you know, for, for audiences everywhere uh, and families everywhere to see it together and say, if he can do it, we can do it. If he can achieve the impossible and, and live in his calling and destiny, uh, then so can we. And, and if they can stay together as a family, so can we. And, and, uh, and it really is this incredible story uh, of, of someone who couldn't win alone. You know, he won, uh, in this incredible relationship, uh, with, with, uh, Brenda, uh, who became his wife and and her children. And, and, uh, it was really all that he discovered off the field that made him a champion on the field. And, uh, 
And, and that's why I love the tagline to the film, no one wins alone. So you really get all those feelings of, of overcoming and of enduring and, and of achieving the impossible, but it's a completely relatable true story. I mean, you could yes. not be further from a dream than Kurt Warner was from his dream. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it was in the category of delusional and yet, he <laughs> and sometimes what God calls us to in life and what our destiny and purpose really is, is crazy and scary and delusional. And, uh, and yet it can, it, it, if we just never, ever, ever give up on what, on what God's calling us to do, then, then uh, the impossible can, can become real. And this is one of those stories. Mm -hmm. I do a lot with young athletes and, you know, I, I look at this story and I think um, it's not just only the vision that you guys are seeing, the dream, the hope mm -hmm. that say, don't give up. But also there are character things within Kurt that mm -hmm. really are developed. Kind of expound on those as well. Yeah. You know what? What I really wanted to explore, I think for me, every film is a question, is like, where are champions born? You know? And what I loved about this story was that Kurt Warner became a champion uh, off the field first. And really, he had, the, in my opinion, he had the arm of a champion. He had the talent of a champion. But he didn't have the heart of a champion. And, and where he found that was in his relationship uh, with Brenda and, and, yeah. and her faith and her drive and her fierce devotion uh, to, to, to her kids and to family and to God. And, and that so rubbed off on him and, and her son, Zach, who's disabled uh, his outlook on life and his indomitable spirit and, and all of those things as Kurt became a father and a, and a husband and, and, and really started embracing things in life that were bigger than he was and started learning the power of self-sacrifice and, and, and those character moments in his life, that's what gave him what he needed on the field. So he really became mm -hmm. a champion first off the field. And I think so many times uh, we forget that, that champions uh, are made not of just talent and they're also made of character and, uh, and, and, and life has to forge your character. Yes. Uh, and, yes. and that's what happened with Kurt Warner. So I love the story that he really found the heart of a champion in his relationship uh, with Brenda uh, uh, off the field and, and in discovering his faith and discovering his purpose and, and, and just embracing, uh, you know, living in, for, for others, you know, uh, and uh, that was really meaningful to me. And I think that's why, you know, it's meaningful to dreamers everywhere. This story, you know, uh, athletes and artists alike, you know, uh, yes. it's one of those things of, 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 of you, you, you watch the movie and you can't help but believe in your own dreams again, you know, mm -hmm. and we need that right now. It's been a tough year. You know? Yes, it has been. Yes, it has been. You know, one other question is uh, just piggybacking on what you said is it's uh, one point in a movie. Um, there's a statement that that's what they said about me when I came. And that was Dick Vermeil. Vermeil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And he says, but all those years gave me something others didn't have. And that's the key. I think so often we think, let me get, let me get this, this gain and fame just instantly. We want everything instantly. But to realize that the, there are things that are built upon that. Mm -hmm. And that's when Brenda, his wife, comes after and says, Kurt, you were born for this. Yeah, it's, it's so, uh, some of the people that spoke into Kurt's life were so powerful. And so many times, you know, we, we learn through failure, you know, and we, and we, and so many times that these, these moments of triumph are forged in moments of disappointment and moments of pain and moments of loss. And that's the way life is. And I think most people don't accomplish their dreams just because they give up you never know when your Super Bowl moment is right around the corner or your Rams tryout is right around the corner if you just will endure and not quit. And, uh, and I think it, it was so cool to see some of the people that spoke into Kurt's life. And Dick Vermeil was one of them that he saw in Kurt a fellow underdog and he had been out of coaching for 15 years and they said yes. he was too old and they said, you know, and, and, and he's like, let's go disprove all these people together, you know? And then, and then Brenda speaks into his life in a scene that will just as a tearjerker scene in the movie where, where she says how much she believes in him and how much their son, yeah. Zach believes in him and go, go show the world what I've known all along. She says, you know, and, and, uh, 
to just have those people surrounding him, you know, it, it led to the tagline of the film that no one wins alone, you know, mm -hmm. that we win together. It, it yeah, led yeah. to the, to the, uh, I love the credit roll song, which is original by Vince Gilman. He it, it says love changes everything, you know? And, uh, and it was so cool to see their relationship, uh, and those people that just believed in Kurt, uh, yeah. uh, you know, will him on, uh, uh, to greatness and, and allow him to never give up on his destiny and his calling and his dream. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that, you know, there's the old saying <laughs> behind every, every great man is a great woman. And this really does depict that. And so um, you, you, this is a story of a powerful woman. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Brenda, former Marine and life had dealt her such blows and, uh, and, and, but that had given her such grit and character. Mm -hmm. And that's what Kurt needed. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, it's just an incredible inspirational love story and yeah. she is in in real life and portrayed in the movie she is mm -hmm. such a powerful person and such a powerful force in the story and in his life mm -hmm. so you know um john we have put together uh, a little devotional uh six-day devotional and uh, just briefly just the to kind of give an overview and then i'm going to turn it over um to Paul here, you know, the first day is what you've been highlighting. It talks about you were made for this moment. Mm. And then the second day is let God shape your passion mm. with character. Mm. And then the third day, working hard when no one is watching that behind the, you know, behind the scene in the dark, what are you doing? And yeah. then four, dealing with the, the disappointments. Um, and mm. then five day five, the very things that got you here, you know, like he says, right. Dick Verma said, wow. And then the last one is you were born for this. Hmm. So Paul, that if you sounds to... great, by the way, I would love to do this devotional. <laughs> Those are all the themes in the movie right. and, uh, and put great titles that, that inspires me just hearing the titles. My goodness. Oh, great. Well, Paul, why don't you take the last minute or so and expound on those and, We'll bring this to an end. It was too quick, John. I could sit here the rest of the day. This is a great <laughs> conversation. And uh, they, 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 they bounce me around. But, but I, I love talking about the themes of the movie and, and, uh, and, and how they apply to us all, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, um, like Lorna mentioned, the devotional came kind of out of the trailer. And we've done this before. We have a number of devotionals that are on the YouVersion Bible app plan. And we, when we saw this film and we kind of saw the, the heart of it and this, the faith story behind it, um, we thought, you know, this would be just some, some great content to put into the YouVersion platform. And at the same time, to encourage people to use the devotional as a way to invite friends to the movie or to follow people up from the movie and just kind of get spiritual conversations going. So, you know, the fact that you liked those titles is a good mm -hmm. testament to the fact that you put yeah. together um, a very good trailer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that, you know, the, the Bible says that faith is, is uh, Hebrews 11, the substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen See. and, and, uh, and I think that, you know, the Bible says that, that in due season, we will read if we, if we just don't give up, you know, if we just don't quit. And, and so many times God is shaping us, you know, through trials that work patience, that develop hope, you know, and, and, uh, and, and I think that, that you, you don't realize that when you're going through difficult seasons in, in your life, that God is actually preparing you for moments that you were born for. And, and so I think in the film, you see all of these moments that life would call disappointing to Kurt and Brenda Warner in the moment. And yet by the end of the story, you see how God was, was preparing him for mm -hmm. and giving him the character that he needed. And that if he would have like when he bombed with, with green Bay, with the green Bay Packers uh, and they cut him, he needed to know that he wasn't ready, but he was also, he would have been sitting behind Brett Favre who started every game until after Kurt Warner retired. So he would have never gotten a shot in that instance. And he didn't know that. Uh, in that moment, but there were all these moments along the way where God was, 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 pain, was, was, was pending his story. And I think that, that that's something to rely on in life. And I think the great lesson is to just keep walking, keep, you know, what do they say? Success is long obedience in the same direction. But if God is calling you to something extraordinary, just don't quit. Don't ever give up. You never know 
when that breakthrough moment is right around the corner, if you just don't quit and you just take a few more st steps each and every day. And, uh, and that's one of the great themes of the movie and that God does call us to crazy impossible things. And those things can happen. And, and, uh, and that's what I, what I want audiences to, to experience. I want families to experience all over America starting on Christmas day, that the, the extraordinary can become yes. real. Yes. Uh, if you just keep going and keep believing and hold fast to your faith, hold fast to your calling and just don't give up. Well, before you know, we get cut off, are you getting ready to ask for a prayer request for him? Well, I was going to ask one more follow up question in terms of the um, one of the things that we really also wanted to capture in the devotional is the fact that it is Brenda and Kurt's story. It's yeah. not just his story. I mean, he's the American underdog in a sense. We really tried to do that as much as we could. Um, yeah. One last question about the devotional. That's exactly right. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything yeah. else on that? I, well, the tagline of the film is, no one wins alone. And right. yes. they won together. They won as a team. Uh, they, they achieved what God had for them together. And it was so cool. Brenda had been told when she was 12 years old that by someone in her church, God has a plan for you. God has a destiny, a purpose for you. And because of the, the blows that life had dealt her, she f felt like she was no longer qualified, that it was no longer going to happen for her. And, 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 yet in the, and yet God was working the whole way through, through, through failures and pain and triumph and, all, and everything in between. Uh, God was writing their story and they would have never achieved what they achieved uh, independently. They did it together. And that's how we win, isn't it? We win with the people in our lives. We win with the people that God puts in our lives. We win as a family. We win as a team. And, uh, and that was definitely uh, uh, true for this story. There, there is no Kurt Warner without, without right. Brenda Warner. Yeah. 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 It's, oh, Lord, we're going to need to wrap here in just a moment. Okay. okay. That's a great conversation though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, you want, you want to just, so what can we pray for you real uh Briefly and bring this to an end, John. Well, uh, I invite everyone to see. I love going to see movies, uh, uh, you know, over the holidays with my family. So we say your movie ticket is your vote. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, when we unify our voices as a, as a community, uh, amazing things can happen. And uh, so please go see the movie uh, starting Christmas Day. Okay. Pray yeah. for us, pray for our families, uh, and just pray for all that God is doing in Hollywood. God is just moving in the entertainment industry, all over the entertainment industry. And, uh, and I, you know, I think Christianity is back in a profound way, and we get to be a part of it, and others do. Uh, and there's just an incredible team of, of, of Christians that are, that are really um, uh, just, just getting, you know, going forward with the goal of, of getting, uh, you know, the gospel and hope out to the world uh, through entertainment and through film. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's cool to be a part of it. And uh, just pray that that continues. Well, as we, as we close, I'm just going to say this Zambian proverb that fits with what you said. And it says, when we run alone, you run fast. But when you run together, you go far. What a great so, quote. I so love that. I'm going to write that down. That's <laughs> yes. great. Well, we, uh, Paul will follow up with you. We thank you so much. And may God, I am thankful that God placed on your heart, you and your brother, to fulfill your creating appetite that you have through film um, for the world to see. So thank well, you. We all, we all have a gift and a purpose. And at least vocationally, there is nothing more fun than when you find your gift and you use it for God's glory instead of your own. And that gift is unique to you. And, uh, and, and, and finding it and living in it and believing that it's possible uh, is, is half the battle. And so that was, the, that was what we hope to inspire with this story. So God bless you guys. Thank you. I can't wait for your devotion. I love you, version. I love Bobby. I love it. It's crossed 500 million downloads that app. So I will find this on you, version and, uh, and add it.